All right, it's 631 and happening today. More discussion in the Cincinnati Public School District about mandating vaccines for students. WCPO 9 News reporter Allie Kramer joins us live this morning from Mount Washington with what new information we expect to learn on this today. Allie. Good morning, guys. The biggest piece of the puzzle that we're kind of waiting to see today is kind of from parents. What is their response to this? Are they in favor of a mandatory vaccine requirement for students? Are they against it? Uh, they really need to kind of gauge that interest in those opinions before moving forward because, of course, they want the support of those parents and students in the district. And we're expecting some survey results that were sent out to those parents to be uh, published and released at tonight's meeting. Now, uh, we don't exactly know how many surveys were sent out, but it could help paint that picture. The conversation could be a little different than in the past because now the Pfizer vaccine is approved for emergency use in children ages five and up. That may also change parents' opinions on, of course, requiring the vaccine. CPS students are still required to wear masks. That's another factor that parents may be considering. Officials say they still don't have any clinics set up for the younger students to get vaccinated. The district is waiting on the health department to set up the dates for those. Those clinics, however, do help the district gauge how many students are vaccinated but it certainly won't include those students who are getting vaccines elsewhere. Now the school board is school board meeting rather is set for 630 tonight. We will of course be there to bring you the latest on the discussions. We're told there will not be any vote, nothing formal as far as the policy, but uh, at least they're sort of getting the ball rolling and continuing those discussions for now reporting live Allie Kramer WCPO 9 News.